All right, Todd, well, thanks a lot for your time, as always. Look forward to uh, catching up again next week. Thanks, Jay. All right, gentlemen, finished up. Another good day. How are you? I'm doing well, Todd. How are you? Good. Good. Got some time? Yeah. Big week ahead, Summer League Tournament. Crazy week. Time for us to catch up. Yeah. Got time for a coffee? Yeah, let's go. Let's go do that. So Todd, are you excited for the tournament coming up? Yeah, uh, it's kind of strange to have a whole week off, you know, to, to, to uh, figure out what your schedule is going to be. And you want your guys sharp, as you know, but you don't want to, you also want them fresh. So uh, we haven't had a week off in a while. It is an interesting challenge, especially after three games in seven days, how to balance all of it, be ready to go, be firing on all cylinders, and still have some time, allow our, our players to have some time to decompress a little bit, get away from it, spring break. So they're enjoying spring break in Vermtown. Well, hopefully they get a lot of rest, you know, and um, they they are fresh. When do, you, when do you play? Saturday? We play Saturday. Who do you got? We have North Dakota State. Okay. And you just played them. So. We just played them. And that's always strange, too, when you just play a team and then you got to turn around and play them again. Yeah, that's right. That is right. How about you guys, your Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening? Sunday evening, the last game, um, we play Indiana, Purdue, Fort Wayne. That's right. And they're, they're, they've had a up and down year, but they're capable of beating anybody in the league. But as you know, when you start, everybody's zero and zero right now. That's right, fun time of the year. It'd be fun to pack that Premier Center with red, yes, wouldn't it? Yes, yes it would. After playing there the last couple of years, I would say our, our fans really come out and they're loud and they're great. But I'll tell you what, we've got to take that place over. Well, what's great about it is that our fans get excited about everything that happens, every basket, every stop, and they cheer like crazy. You know, sometimes you have to get fans excited and try to get them on their feet and try to get them to be loud. Our fans are loud from the opening tip, and actually sometimes even before that, during the time when we're doing the starting lineups and announcing our players, they get into it, so it's a lot of fun. Well, I think our fans are very knowledgeable. That's I think why, you're right. because they, they cheer, they just don't cheer for baskets, as you said. They cheer for stops, they cheer for good plays, they cheer for hustle, they cheer for the good knowledgeable things. Yeah, that's exactly right. Good point. So, AJ's done. They got beat in the, the tournament. They did. Yeah. Was that the quarterfinals? I'm not sure. It was the first round, whatever that one's called. And what about uh, Vermilion and Lexi? Vermilion lost Thursday night, close game against Beersford, so they're done too. So quiet time in our family right now. We actually went out to dinner as a family last <laughs> night. It was kind of interesting to be able to have some time to do that, but it was well, kind of fun too. It's nice to have AJ that close where you can see him. Thank you. Don't be drinking my coffee either. Nope. I won't. I don't. Take I know we it share back. a lot of things, but we're not going to share coffee, are we? Um, so, what's Lexi doing this spring? Then? Is she going to be playing AAU ball? She is. She's going to be playing AAU. She's done that the last couple of years. She's debating right now about going out for track. So we'll see if she does or not. But try to find a way to fit it all in. And I think. What is What is she doing track? She actually hasn't done track before. She's done cross country and done some long distance running. She's been pretty good at that. So we'll see. How about your crew? How are they doing? Well, Jackson's uh, my middle one. Uh, Carson's at Creighton, and he, he's a manager with uh, uh, the basketball team, and uh, he likes the school. And then uh, Jackson's my middle one, and he they just got beat in the Arizona State playoffs. Did they? He had yeah. a good year, though. He was all region. He was uh, MVP of the team. Um, That's awesome. He, uh, he had 22 points in the, the playoff game, but they got beat in a close game. And... Uh, he wants to be a coach, so he's already stated that. You haven't talked that. him out of that yet? I'm trying. Okay, all right, just checking on that. Because <laughs> he's, he's, he is very smart, uh, but I don't know. He wants to be a coach, and he's declared that already, and this is what he wants to do. And then Peyton is our eighth grader going into ninth, and he's playing uh, AAU ball and practicing, and, and uh, he loves to play.
Well, you've had an unbelievable year. We talked about it, though, the pressure, because, you know, you've got an opportunity to, thank you, you've had an opportunity, you have an opportunity to make the NCAA tournament, maybe even if you don't win the, the Summit League tournament. How's it been dealing with all that, you know, night in, night out, we can't have a slip up, you know, because you should be in the NCAA tournament if you get to the finals and play state. Well, I think what's been interesting for us, and I'm going to ask you a question, I'm going to go back and ask your advice on it too, but I think what our young ladies have really worked hard to, to do this year and in the years in the past is really to play with great urgency, and, and you know how important that is. And when you play really, really hard, sometimes it's hard to play relaxed, and you need to re also play relaxed so that you can make shots and take care of the basketball and, and play to the best of your ability. So it's hard to be really zipping and popping and playing with great urgency, but also relax at the same time. And, and I think what is really important for us is that we go into th this first opportunity to play and that we play, we, we play incredibly, incredibly hard, but we play loose. And for us, if you see our locker rooms before a game, there are some funny things that take place. Our players do a good job of trying to remain in the moment. And I think that's really, really important because they're college kids and this is their opportunity to, be, to have the time of their life. And I remember our first year playing in the tournament, we had a lot of young ladies who hadn't been the key kid or had played in that scenario before. And I think it's really important, really valuable. We've had, we have young ladies who've been through it before and you have some young men who've played in that scenario before and played in the tournament and are, are gonna be really excited to do that again. They'll be, they, they know the environment and, and uh, they've, they've, we've, they were in the championship game last year so they know what it takes and and as you know experience in the postseason is so important so um hopefully uh as you said we get a ton of fans there and, and they have a great time and i hope we're there a number of days that would be fun yeah it'd be fun and and uh you know it's uh it's an exciting time of year this is the most exciting uh time of year in college basketball march madness and you gotta you, this is what everybody plays for, so you got to prepare and just be the best you can be at this time of year.